the Shell Eco Marathon is a unique competition which challenges high school and college student teams from around the world to design, build and test energy efficient vehicles. The winners are the teams that go the furthest distance using the least amount of energy. The 2014 European event will take place in Rotterdam next May. Eurosport will follow the preparation of three teams on the road to Rotterdam. The newcomer Team Galanda from the Spanish Instituto Parcitipate in the urban concept category with electric battery. Team Aalborg Energy of the Danish Aalborg University has also ambitions for the urban concept category with hydrogen. 229 student teams from 26 countries will battle for the ultra energy efficiency. One of them is the French team Micro Jule La Jolivert. This team and the Eco Marathon have a long history in common. The project started in 1987, initiated by an instructor and engineer, Philip Mainstream. Yeah, when we saw this competition for ultra energy efficiency at low speed, we said this is really something for us. The team has been victorious in 20 out of 28 appearances at the Eco Marathon since 1987, unbeaten since 2006 in the internal combustion engines category. It's the team that everyone wants to beat. But what's the secret of Microjoule? They're out to win again. All yeah, the pieces produced are installed in the vehicle only after a, a valid procedure. We know exactly everything about their performance. We have the test of these performances, so it's really a significant work on the tools of testing. The second method is how to make working students combine the technology with the project, and that's really our strength. Gun technology, a human adventure is the motto of the 50 strong team working on Microjoule. It's about looking for the talent of each student, which contributes to the collective accomplishments. On va chercher toutes les compétences, l'intelligence des mains, l'intelligence de la de of the hands, the intelligence of the heart, Et intelligence ça, of organization. Et ça, c'est un super challenge qui est really a challenge which has to be faced every year. This year, the French want to reach a double goal, make a demonstration for the first time in natural gas vehicles and try to pass the bar of 3,000 kilometers on a litre of fuel. Last year, Microjoule made 2,980 kilometers to do better. The vehicle is constantly improving. Yeah, we're in the heaviest phase at the level of engine development. That means we are working actually on seven engines. Some engines are congealed, the others are in phase of development. So for 2014, we have a new engine with a cycle thermodynamics, a little bit complex, but that has to allow us around 5% efficiency. The motor strength of Microjoule, a student who is working for two years, putting it into practice all that he has learned. For me, the goal is really to try to settle this engine. And it will be really rewarding for me if this is the one that's used for the competition. The Microjoule vehicle works even if some adjustments need to be done on the motor. Even if there is still a challenge, the team remains confident. Yeah, we're on schedule. We set the goals in September and we have nine months to succeed. We now know exactly what is actually going on. After there, it's unforeseen, but we are very well prepared in our program. So at this stage, Team Microjoule is prepared as best as possible. The Spanish team chose to pay tribute to some of the first pioneers in car making. They developed a prototype which was made in 1953 and they hope they can achieve it for the upcoming competition. The Danish team, Allborg, is working on a new chassis. They're progressing but a little bit behind. So which of the three teams can progress or stay still behind on the road to Shell Eco Marathon? A competition which inspires young students, engineers to push the boundaries of fuel efficiency You'll find out the answer on Eurosport 25th of March 2255.